Hi, Angela. Hi. Could you tell me a little bit about Theo? Yes. So Theo, Theodore, uh, is my fourth born. Um, his birthday is actually coming up in a couple of weeks, March 18th. I was hoping to have him St. Patrick's Day because I love St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> but he was on his own schedule and that's okay. Loved everyone, no matter who held him, brand new people, strangers. He just loved being in people's arms. He was always so smiley. He smiled at me the first day, the day he was born in the hospital. <laughs> he was smiling at me. It sounds like Theo was just wonderful. Yes. Just a wonderful little baby from the get-go. He was. Now, I know Theo's time on this earth was short. Mm -hmm. and. When October came around, I believe in our conversations, the mm -hmm. hospital had something for you. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, Theo passed away on July 12th, about a week before it turned four months. He was actually in the hospital for about three days before he passed. <laughs> Obviously, we didn't know what what to do or what we wanted. The hospital was asking if we wanted some of his hair. We didn't have much hair. <laughs> they gave us his footprints and his handprints and then they asked if we, if we wanted a plaster mm -hmm. cast of his hands and feet or his hand and foot. So they gave us this beautiful plaster cast of his hand and his foot. And I have just been terrified <laughs> to take it out of the box because it's all we have. And with three other kids, I don't want to risk it breaking. I understand. And so the only thing I can think of is potentially maybe getting some type of casting made. I didn't know if it was possible. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how I could do that or what I could do. I reached out on Reddit. That, that's right, the 3D printing subreddit. <laughs> yes, yes. And somebody mentioned you and your name and <laughs> you, you hopped on and and so now we're here. <laughs> well, to give everybody out there a little bit of context, someone alerted me on Twitter and told me about Angela's story on the 3D printing subreddit. And so I went and I introduced myself and I said who I was and what I, what I could help with. Angela and I actually got to meet up at this cafe not that long ago. And she brought Theo's hand and foot, the plaster casts. And I was able to scan them and utilize a 3D designer and I have something for you, <laughs> thanks to all of that work. I want to thank you for letting me help you tell thank your story. Thank you so, so much. This is for you. Thank you. It's so soft. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting it to be so soft. So part of what we wanted to do <laughs> is is bring about your memory of Theo and have it better represented. And so we used a material that's a little bit soft to the touch, but still is resilient. And so you shouldn't have any worry about these being displayed with his memorial. My kids haven't even ever seen these before. <laughs> we were so afraid for the plaster to, that they would drop it, or, you know, kids are. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm well aware. <laughs> Your children should have no problem with these. <laughs> and if for any reason mm -hmm. these break, you're 15 minutes away <laughs> and I can make you another pair. Oh, it's beautiful, thank you. Yeah, let, me, let me just, let me sneak in here because this, I really appreciate you letting me be a part of this. I hope that these find their way into your home in a nice place. I will. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. I, mean, I told you that like a million times. The first time we met, I just can't. There's no words. You're making me kind of. <laughs> that was, quite honestly, one of the most amazing moments I've had in being a part of 3D Printing Nerd. 
And it still to this day amazes me the reach into humanity and love and warmth that 3D printing can offer us. Now I, I kind of want to take you through the process of how all of this was done because it wasn't that difficult and the product of it was amazing. And it's something that I think more of us can attempt to do. So at first I met up with Angela at Cafe Aroma and she brought the plaster casts to me. And I used Polycam on my iPhone and I also used the Photos app in order to take pictures. So Polycam created a rudimentary three-dimensional model and saved it out as an STL. And then pictures from my phone were taken from different angles along with photos using a tape measure so we had reference to scale. And that complete package was sent over to Morgan, who is also maybe better known as Printed Obsession, one of Photos Mint's mentors and an amazing 3D sculptor. He took this information, these plaster casts that had plaster bits in places and they weren't perfect in all the features they represented and created essentially what these plaster casts meant to Angela in her mind. Really quickly, right after that, I had these STLs available. One of Theo's hand and one of Theo's little foot. So next, I went to my Nexa Zip 3D printer. It utilizes resin, and as we know, resin can recreate even the most amazing small details of a model. And I chose a specific dental resin that Nexa offers. And the reason I did that is because it listed two properties that I thought were really important to this amazing project. One, this resin was strong. The second property that was really important here was that this hides layer lines. Normally in resin 3D printing, we talk about such a minuscule layer height that layer lines aren't necessarily a thing, but I wanted this to be as smooth as possible. So any extra ability of a resin to hide the layer lines, I thought would be perfect. So I sliced it up in the Nexus software and I sent it to the zip and I printed it out. And it came out looking wonderful. I was so relieved and happy when I saw these models on the zip build plate. And from there, because this is a rigid resin, I put this in an isopropyl alcohol bath for about 10 minutes, took it out, removed the supports, and then I put this into a curing stage for about 20 minutes, and it was just a UV light and a turntable. Once that was done, I know there were some little zits or pimples from the process of support removal, and so I used some 400 grit sandpaper to sand it down. And what I was amazed at, this dental resin sands like a dream. It was so easy to refine the features that Theo's hand and foot had in this model, plus the feel, the feel of this resin, it's soft. It's not pliable and it's not flexible. The resin, with after a little bit of sanding, it's incredible how soft this, this feels. It, there's no other way to describe it. So the Nexa 3D Zip and the dental resin was perfect for this, but as you know, we have these wonderful machines that are tools that add to our wonderful tool set and the ability to make wonderful things. And so it could be that the machine you have in your classroom, your workspace, your garage, your after-school program, it could be the machine that does something you're not expecting to do and produces something that changes someone's life. It's also really crazy to think that this was a post on the 3D printing subreddit. And so this was just a project that really the community made happen. And it's so great being a part of this wonderful community. And I'm really glad to have you along for the ride. I'm also really glad you made it this far because if you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Print wonderful things. And as always.
high five.